Good morning, friends. I hope you are well on this Gratitude Friday. On this Gratitude Friday, I give thanks for the power of prayer. This past week was the National Day of Prayer, and it's also a good reminder for us to take those moments and to do some intentional prayer. Prayer can be quite meditative. It can be holy work. It can be filled with compassion and grace. It's a moment where you can just put everything out there to God. It's also a moment in which we can lift others, family and friends and our world up to God in prayer and hoping in hopes that things will be better. The second piece to prayer though is that action component that when we live in a state of hope, when we live as a resurrected people, we know that death does not get the final say. We know that evil does not permeate the world. It doesn't have to because when we believe in hope and we believe in resurrection, we believe in life and light and hope and forgiveness and grace and kindness and compassion. So prayer really is an action in of itself. And we have offered prayers for many people in our congregation. I suspect many of you have offered prayers for loved ones. And we pray for our country on a daily basis as we think about all that we are faced. On this day, I give thanks for the power of prayer, knowing that I'm not alone, that with all of you and the presence of the Holy Spirit, there is connection and there is so much more other than just me at work in the world. God be with you on this lovely Gratitude Friday and I look forward to seeing you soon.